Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Ask Pocket. And jumping right into the deep end, Hedgie from Victoria asks, I have Black Ops 2 and I'm thinking about getting Black Ops 3, but all my friends say I shouldn't get it. So I'm relying on the Lord of Gaming, aka Nick Boy, for my answer. And is Star Wars Battlefront gonna be a good game? Hedgie, screw your friends. Don't listen to them, do what you want. It's your life, it's your money, buy the games you like. At this point, I've got no idea if Battlefront is going to be good. We'll definitely be covering it on Good Game and Pocket when it gets closer to release, so ask again then. But whatever you do, don't listen to your friends, ever. Next up, and Behalet from Berserkia asks... Hi Hex, Banjo, Goose, and Paul. Okay, stop right there. Paul? Who's Paul? And for that matter, who's Banjo? I'm sorry, Behalet, you've lost your right to ask a question. Moving on, and Soundscape from Ballarat asked... Have you read any of the game-to-book adaptations, such as the Halo books or Assassin's Creed, etc.? If so, what do you think? And what game-to-book would you like to read? Soundscape, here's the two things that bug me about game-to-book adaptations. One, they only ever really make them for giant, big-budget, huge releases. And let's face it, most of the time, the stories in those games are crap, and so I'm not interested in hearing more about that crap story over an extended period of time without gameplay to keep me distracted. On the flip side, if a story is well told in a game, then I don't really feel the need to go back and read it again. Two, those books always feel like fan fiction. Probably because they are. Even though they are generally sanctioned by the game's developers or publishers, they never feel legit. The authors didn't create this IP, so to me it's weird they're just making up stories around it. I know there's writers on TV shows who didn't create that show and that other people adapt books into movies all the time, but something about the game ones just rubs this boy the wrong way. Maybe because I'm used to the story being delivered to me in a different way in the first place? I could be wrong though and be dismissing an entirely entertaining and legitimate art form. I don't think I am. I did try. I've read a few of the World of Warcraft books, but the whole time I just sat there thinking, Jaina Proudmoore does not speak this much in the games. If you think I'm just completely wrong, send me some recommendations for some expanded universe books that I should read. Pop them in the comments below. Moving on, and Luke from Sydney says... Hi there, Nick. I'm just wondering if you were to choose one of the worst games of all time, what would it be? Also, could the rest of the good game staff give their worst games as well? Well, I would say it's Elder Scrolls Online. P.S. Ender Scrolls Online can't be an option, Nick. We know about it too well. Well, technically, you said Ender Scrolls Online, so my pick still stands. But assuming you meant Elder Scrolls Online, then I would say my least favourite game would be... Huh actually tend to go out of my way to avoid bad games. Unlike Bajo and Hex, who get stuck with games they need to review, I have the luxury of being able to give up on a game about two hours before it gets awful. And if I hear a game is bad, I just won't play it. But no one warned me about Hellboy The Science of Evil in 2008. That game serenaded me with stories of cult comic heroes and Ron Perlman in my PS3. Then it ate my soul and I stopped believing in hope. Also, I checked with the others about their picks. Bajo believes that SNES or Mega Drive Ghostbusters game can burn in hell, which I would agree with. Hex simply said Naughty Bear, the brevity of her answer implying that she has some truly horrible and repressed memories surrounding that game that I implore you, Hex, to speak to someone about. Get help. It's naughty time! Goose was <clears throat> super excited to play Carmageddon after seeing his friend's PC version, so he bought it on the 64. And it was probably the worst port in history. Darren hates Storm Rise, presumably because there aren't enough robots. And Hingers takes the high road, saying, Personally, I think every game is beautiful and deserving of love and respect. XOXO. Hashtag blessed. Then Hingers took an exit off the high road down to a back alley by adding, also f the SimCity iPad game. Fair call. Finally, Simon Palmer asks, Why is he so damp? Hmm, I don't know, Simon. It's a question for science. All I know is that early in my gaming life, controllers would short circuit after extended sessions. So for three years there, I thought I was a wizard. All right, that's it for today's episode of Ask Pocket. If you have a question, send it in here or tweet me here using the hashtag AskPocket, which is around here somewhere. Until tomorrow, Paul out.